It's about an hour after we've made the pizza. Let's check it. It looks like it's about doubled in size. It smells good. Mm. We could work with that dough now and cut it in half and then make two pizzas. We make the pizzas here. You need a pizza about that big because our stone is kind of small. That's how big it is. It's in the oven. Uh, when you cook the pizza, you'll cook it on the stone. And then when it's done, take the stone and everything out and put it up on top and let it cook, continue for about five or few, five more minutes. That gives it, that makes the, uh, the crisp, crunchy crust like you want. That's the, 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 the best tip I could give you. See, here's the stone. We, uh, I don't know, let's get a good look at it. See, put the piece of the stone in the oven, get it good and hot. We'll heat that stone up to 500 degrees before we'll even start the pizza. Then we'll turn it down to 400 when we're cooking. And then finally when you pull it out and let it set to cool, leave it on the stone. The stone will uh, make the bottom get crunchy. That's the best tip I can give you. And uh, we'll do it. Just gonna give it time. I'm gonna have to give it time. I'm gonna let it rise a little longer and then uh, make a pizza. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.